into Homs. The Syrian army is all around. They'll probably shoot if they spot us. The suburb of Baba Amr. The people are hemmed in by the security forces. The fear is suffocating. These are the men of the Free Syria Army. They don't exactly hold this area, they just hope to slow up the security forces. Almost from the beginning, it was Syrian government propaganda that armed groups, or armed gangs as they were called, were supporting the opposition. Now, after months of protesters being shot down in the streets, that myth of an armed insurgency has become reality. More join every day. A gun battle signals another defection. Soldiers are running into Baba Amro, being fired on by their former comrades. Five made it out, a sixth did not. One of the soldiers explains that they fled after being ordered to shoot unarmed protesters. We're all one people, one blood. We can't just kill them, he says. The nightly demonstration in Baba Amma. They're calling for a no-fly zone. With international protection, they say, millions would take to the streets to sweep away the regime. But help is not on the way. The conflict is escalating. The Free Syria Army is starting to go on the offensive. Rashid al Yassin lost her son, grandson and brother-in-law, all shot dead. They had to demonstrate, she says. We've had 40 years of injustice while they lived in luxury. So much bitterness is being stored up against the ruling minority. A six-year-old boy died as we left, shot by a sniper, they said. They were quietly angry. The longer this goes on, the more chance that the struggle for democracy in Syria will end in sectarian bloodletting. Paul Wood, BBC News, Homs.